Good morning, Saints. I'm Daryl Sims, your worship leader and executive assistant. And this morning, I just want to pray with you concerning everything that may be on your heart and your mind. Philippians 4 and 6 says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. You know, we have not so often because we ask not. And sometimes we think things are impossible or think things are out of reach. But that scripture reminds us all we have to do is take it to God in prayer. And so I just want to pray with you this morning concerning your, your families, your jobs, your homes, our schools, and our government, and um, all that's being affected by COVID-19 right now. So this morning, we're just going to pray. If you bow your heads with me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day. We thank you because your word does not lie. And your word says that if we ask in your name, that you would answer. God, so we're trusting in you this morning. We're trusting and having faith in you in these uncertain and hard times. God, we invite you into our homes. We invite you into our families. We invite you into our workplace. We invite you, God, into our personal space. So God, first of all, I say, God, have your way in families today. Bless children, God, who are struggling in school, who are struggling with uh, keeping up with their classes because of the lack of, of maybe Wi-Fi connection or just bad communication. God, I pray that you will open up doors for them to learn, for them to be comfortable learning in their home, for them to feel confident learning in their home, God. I pray that there are provision for those who need computers, for those who need Wi-Fi access, God, and for those who need a little bit more help, God, just with studying and preparing their, their homework. God, I pray that there are provisions made for, for parents who need to go to work and who need a place for their children to be safe, God. God, somehow open up doors and make that available for them, God. I pray that you would release stress from parents who are wondering how they will make it providing food and providing shelter for their children and for their families, God. I pray, God, for those families that are being evicted from their homes because they can't pay the rent. God, I pray that you provide a place for them to stay, God. I pray that you provide shelter for them and food and safety and protection. God, I pray for people who are wondering where their next paycheck is coming from, God. I pray that you would uh, open up job opportunities and employment opportunities, God, or that you would move on the behalf of, of landlords, God, that they will have grace, that they will be patient, and that they will wait. God, I pray, God, for our communities, God, that they will remain safe. God, I pray that people will wear their mask and that they will stay home when they need to, that they won't be out and about, and that we can stay safe from this COVID-19, God. I pray, God, today for um, those that are in government leadership, God, that they will continue to make good decisions and that we will be safe because of the decisions they make and the laws that they make, God, today. Lord, I pray for our pastors. Give our pastors wisdom. God, show them how to lead in these uncertain times, God. Several of our pastors have never had to pastor through a time like this. So God, they need your wisdom. They need your strength. They need you to hold their arms up. They need you to be their backbone during this time. So God, we, your people, we lift them up as they lead us, God. Bless them to follow you. God, give us um, a supernatural strength and faith today. God, increase our faith in you that we will not stray during these times, that we will just draw closer to you. God, I pray that um, during these times, we will not faint. God, that, that we will hold on to the end, that we won't give up. God, even though it looks hard, it's extremely hard, God, we won't give up. God, I pray that you would just uh, put a burning fire in us, God, to be about your kingdom business even the more, God. We're not letting COVID-19 stop us, God, but we're running after your heart. We're chasing after your heart. We're chasing after your people, God. We want to get closer to you and get closer to your people. God, teach us how to do this, even in these times, God. Teach Light and Life West how to do this during these times. 
Anybody that's watching this, God, right now, I pray that you teach us how to do that, God. And Lord, we thank you for that. You are bringing everything around, God, that we need. God, these times are hard, but God, you are turning it around for our good because we trust in you and because we believe in you. Thank you, God, for your hand of mercy and for your hand of grace that's upon us right now. God, Lord, let us never lose sight and never lose faith in you. We thank you today because you are good. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, I want you to have a blessed day. Walk in confidence, walk in strength. Keep your mind on Jesus. And let's uh, continue to reimagine together. Have a blessed day.